So what I have for you today is another box video, but it's not gonna be as complex as the last one. My nephew, who is 10 years old, had a neighbor make him his very first whittling knife. This is walnut with a handle. Really nice of their neighbor. So my sister asked if I could make a box for this. So to begin with, we're gonna be breaking down this piece of walnut. We're gonna joint one face, one edge, and then resaw it to get the pieces that I need and then plane it to final thickness. All right, so I've got these resawn at the uh, bandsaw. Now, before I take them down to their final thickness, because I don't have a lot of room to play with, I'm gonna cut the final two inch width piece out of this so that I'm not having to flatten the entire surface. Got these to length. I'm gonna clean up one end, flip it around, and then use a stop block to take it to eight inches. Now we're ready to cut the pocket out, and I've got the walnut blank attached to my CNC bed, and I'm using an eighth of an inch spiral bit. All right, let's see how it fits. So I'm gonna stick that in there. That's below the surface. Make sure this doesn't hit, and that's good. And one thing that I did notice are these finger holes. They're a little sharp, and as you can see from my sample piece, they weren't that deep, so I didn't have to stick the fingers in very far. Whereas with this being 0 .8, 0 0.81 or 0.82 deep, whatever it was, my fingers are having to go down pretty far, so I'm gonna have to relieve this edge a little bit with a, a gouge, a number nine gouge, I guess. That's what this is. I've used this probably twice, so don't judge me on my ability to put a chamfer on these edges. So that's what I'm gonna do real quick. The suede that I'm using is this brand here. I think I got it at Woodcraft several years ago. Uh, it does talk about sealing the surface that you're going to be applying this adhesive with uh, shellac if you're using wood. So I'm going to just brush some on with an acid brush, just using some de-wax shellac. I'm probably going to put a coat on it, uh, let it set dry, and then apply the adhesive. I'm going to apply the shellac uh, liberally, get it nice and sealed. The shellac is dried, I'm ready to apply this. I've got to open it up and mix it. And first I need to get my glasses on. So while letting the shellac dry, I think I have decided to uh, only apply the adhesive in the flocking on the inside and not up on this curve. So I'm going to try to avoid that. So. This is the same color as the flocking, which is in the bag, and I've already loaded some up in here. And I've got it on this brown piece of paper because any excess that I flock around the piece, I can just fold this up and pour it back in the bag.
box is clamped up and I've got it in my vise. It's flush on the back and I'm gonna go ahead and install the hinges. So that way I can flip it over, install the latch, pull them off, uh, apply the finish and then we're good to go. So uh, yeah, the elephant in the room. These are cheap hinges, but this is all that I have currently in stock that will fit this uh, thickness. So that's what I'm gonna go with. Um, it's not that big of a deal. They'll work just fine. Now I'm gonna set these in a half inch from the edge and I'm gonna line it up. And these are gonna move, so it's probably gonna take me a couple of tries. Uh, I do have self-centering bits, but it's gonna be a whole lot easier for me to just mark them and then come back and drill them. I'm gonna use the screw wax to screw these in. These are uh, probably brass plated. Um, they did not come with a standalone steel screw, so I'm gonna use the screw wax when starting these holes. To install the latch on the front, I've struck a center line here at four inches because this is eight inches long. These hinges, which I'll never use again, allow me to move the lid just a little bit. So I've got it raised up just enough to catch my fingernail on it. And I'm gonna put this bottom part and butt it up against the bottom of the lid. That Now that it's raised, I'm gonna center it by eye on this center line and then drill with the drill bit. This is some pretty cheap hardware, but it'll, uh, it'll fit the bill. It's all that I have in the shop. All right, so these are in here now, are pre-drilled and threaded. So now I'm gonna go ahead and install the bottom piece, get that nice and snug, and that'll help me align up the top piece to pre-drill. I like to refit all the hardware just to make sure everything is good before I apply the finish. So I got the hinges installed, the latch, everything looks good. Uh, so now I'm going to apply several coats of a de-wax shellac. This is a one and a half pound cut blonde. Uh, I'm just gonna wipe it on and uh, you know give it a nice sheen. All right, here we go. This is the final product. This is the uh, the walnut box. Here's the knife that goes in it. Fits perfectly. Doesn't rattle too much. That flocking holds it in there pretty well. Uh, this box came out pretty good. This is something that I didn't do a whole lot of planning going into it. Uh, so this is kind of uh, on the fly. I did, of course, make the CNC pocket, uh, the G code for that. But the rest of the box, I just found some hardware that I had laying around in the shop, some hinges in this latch, and, uh, and put it together. This is going to be a pretty nice little box for my nephew. He's going to love it. So that's the important thing. It's definitely not a piece of fine furniture. Uh, there's some things that I could do a whole lot better if I were to do it again. Um, but yeah, he's going to love it. So that's the important thing. This came out great. So that is uh, for this video, just a quick video on how to make a little box for his whittling knife. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.